Hello everyone, I have some corrections I need to make on my part one video that I put up on my testimony of how I truly came to be reborn in Christ and now can cast out all fear and no longer have a desire to, to sin anymore. And that's one of the things I forgot in that video is to say that I feel freed. I do not have a desire to ever go back to the things of this world only to be renewed and disown myself and live in Christ. There's some stuff I got backwards and I said a little bit wrong and I know it's going to drive me nuts. And I'll say it in the next video in the part two as well in the beginning. But um, for now I'll just, I'll just say some of it because YouTube won't show me on my end uh, that the video is even there on my channel. So I can't even go in and make a pinned comment. On my own channel and I've noticed it's been doing that every time I post a video and it doesn't uh, I don't have access to it for a while um, so when I said I had a prior just truly video that got destroyed I meant just truly channel that got destroyed and then I remade this channel um, which had almost 300 videos that I deleted because I have now died to self and I want to do a better job. Um, I need to make a correction. I don't think agoraphobia and social phobia will be a problem anymore because when I leave the house, my head is up high and I have a huge smell on my face. And I notice that every person and dog comes out of the woodwork. Um, my dog and I almost got attacked by two dogs. We almost got hit by a car. Everybody stopped to talk to us. It was like, one thing after the other happening and, and obviously the angels are there because we didn't get hit by a car and I, we didn't get attacked by dogs. I had no fear, full faith in God and Jesus Christ. Whether I lived or die, all fears cast away. And these, I usually am very nervous talking to people. So I have these awesome conversations with people. Um, and now when I walk the dog, like I'm meeting these people on my regular route. So it's, I feel free. Um, when I say I know how to be hungry, I forgot to mention that I've done a six day fast as well. So, um, and once in my life, I also lived on potatoes for an entire month while going to night school, day school, I believe it was night school, no, working a full-time job and going to school. I think it was day and night. Okay, um, yeah, so I did a six-day fast. I plan to try to do one longer. Um, correction for my Abba Father moment in the mirror. I had it um, messed up. That was before my Pentecost 33 CE wind in the upper chamber experience, but mine was in a car in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, so the Abba Father start, was first, and the Holy Spirit wind was second. Um, M-A-I-D, MAID, stands for Medical Assistance in Dying, and that is now legal in Canada, and it will be covering addicts and the mentally ill, and not only physical illness, all by March and then it takes three months to for it to go through once you apply so um, that's why I was waiting for March and that's what that stands for and I was serious about doing it and I figured well they're all you know the people that signed up for this they're they're already you know wanting to do that to people so that's not in, not blood on my hands I felt it's but my own blood I knew would be on my own hands um, I said some words that are a no-no, especially here in Canada. We have really strict rules now uh, for the internet with our Prime Minister, but I don't know if that video will get taken down. If it does, I'll do it again, and I won't say the no-no words. Um, I can try to compact it for BitChute, but I don't think it's possible. Bit, BitChute's diff difficult. Um, so, puppy, lay down. Good girl. I'm downstairs in my my spare room. Um, 
the reason why for me quitting drinking is always difficult besides the keto flu I forgot to tell you guys is I always do cold turkey. I'm an I'm an all in or an all out kind of a person. I'm I'm not lukewarm. I'm either hot or cold. That's just me. I can't battle things or I have to have my mind set to the plow and plow forward and you know I have to conquer and I can't conquer if I'm uh dwindling down with alcohol it just didn't work for me. Um, what else did I not mention? Yeah, I forgot to mention too, like with the tick, tick bite and all the allergies, the red meat, the red meat mammalian allergy and the mast cell activation syndrome. It's kind of like a, your body goes into a cytokine storm as, as it would if you took an injection of that stuff they're giving everybody in 2020 and on. Um, so your body just goes haywire, but like if I eat the wrong food, then I also can't leave the house now because I will be on the toilet all day. Uh, and then it progresses into disorientation, dizziness, vertigo, slurring of my speech, feeling like I'm having a stroke, falling into things, knocking things over and falling down. So that's what it's doing. Um, most likely Lyme disease with that right but it's actually anaphylactic anaphylactic not sure exactly when to use the anaphylactic versus the anaphylactic but um anaphylactic allergies do that um having a very weak cocoa right now um one of the few things i can have i can't have any herbal teas really. Um, forgot to mention I took a harmless supplement and the day, the day after drinking, it was just phosphatidylserine, which is an extract from lecithin from the sunflower plant or seed or something. So like, but I didn't know that can cause brain damage. I also already had liver disease. I had stage one um, damage to my liver, so I could have cirrhosis for all I know. Uh, I might, forgot to mention the reason why I know that I was dying is because I've been near death several times. I had done ODs and stuff in the, uh, in the past, um, deliberately, um, to leave the earth bef before trying to find God and stuff. And, uh, I know what it feels like to not get medical help or even to get medical help and be in intensive care and what it feels to be passing away. I've had stroke-like things, um, and, uh minor to medium heart attacks in the past, but nothing severe. Uh, and, but I knew uh, this, this, I was on my last leg. In fact, after being reborn, I had another incident and I have a miracle to tell you guys of what happened when I was in bed saying goodbye to my father and Jesus and asking for a second chance based on something someone else in the Bible said and did. And uh, they granted me that, so I want to tell you about that. Um, let's see. Let's see. I uh, forgot to mention. Yeah, did that. Um, yeah, I found out that supplement mixed with alcohol even the next day can cause brain damage. So I really felt it. I was wigged out. I was Scooby snacked out. Like I felt the brain damage. So then I ended up with a seventh headache that I now get on top of the others. The drinking never became a problem, just so you guys know, until in the last few years, um, off and on, but more so now. Um, I always thought I could get a handle on it and get back to who I was as a Jehovah's Witness. I never abused alcohol. I was a mother. I, uh, I was able to put priorities first. I had a love for God. I was trying to do the best I could for God and, and what I saw reading the Bible. I have some interesting things to tell you guys about that. So I'll be making other content while we're still going through part one, part two, part three, part four of my testimony. I'll be making other things too, side note things that all are still in line with what I've been taught and what I've learned. Uh, I have a video I'm excited to make coming up. I've many of them. I have a, sh uh, a shorter one. So that way there's some short ones, some long ones, and we kind of get a break and and I kind of wait for the Holy Spirit to teach me for what I'm supposed to say for, for each of them, especially for the longer ones. 
So you'll get a mixed bag, which is great. Um, I forgot to tell you also how the Holy Spirit works. Is like you don't know where the wind blows. You don't know where it's come from and where it's going. So is it those of us that are born by spirit. So there's different levels of this whole meaning to the Holy Spirit. Um, but that's how it is. You give yourselves, you, you don't know what you're going to do from the next moment or hour or minute or day. You let the Holy Spirit show you what you're going to do. You work in its power and on its time. And yeah, covered it all. Great. Okay. That's 10 minutes too long. Okay. Ciao to everyone. I'll probably reiterate this on the next video. I got to figure out how to do it even shorter so we can get to the heart of the matter of what happened next um, after my reborn moment. Okay, ciao, ciao.